definition. A function F defined on the set A into another set B is a rule which assigns every element of the set A uniquely to an element of the set B. Here, I underline the word uniquely. I will explain the reason very short. So any rule that assign from a set A into another set B, I call that function F. You can actually use any other letter of the alphabet to denote that. It's a rule that assigns every element of the set A uniquely to an element of the set B. For any element A, when this function acts on A, what it gives us is a member of the set B, and it gives us one and only one element of the set A. The set capital A is called the domain of the function F, which is noted by D O M F this way. This is the notation I choose to use all through the discussion. So anywhere we find this we mean domain of F. And the set B is called the go domain. Go domain of F. I can also do this, or I also do this by C O D O M F. This adjust my own notations. Other authors can use them different notations, but then for our discussion, this is what we have for the main of the function f and for the main of the function f. All right. To, to bring out the beauty of this definition, let's take a look at these following diagrams. Consider this set, capital A, and then another set, capital B. I consider another one here, C, and another one here, D. Okay. C and then here I have F, here I have G. This set contains the following elements 0, minus 1, 2, 3. This one contains the following elements 6, minus 5, 4, minus 7, half, as the case may be. Coming here, I have A, B, C. 4, 5, X, Y, Z, you know, just any element. So I can put in W and then I can put in H uh, as we like. Consider a situation where we have a relation that goes on okay, a map of this form that takes 0 to 6. It takes negative 1 to negative 5. It takes 2 to negative 5. It takes 3 to 4. This is this model. Here, 
we take a to x, we take a to z, b to y, c to w, we take 4 to h, so let me suppose I have 9 here, and then I take, uh, alright, let me stop in this one, let me stop here. So let's look at these two situations. If you observe very closely, here the first figure, let me call it figure one, was from figure number two. Figure one defines, describes the function from the set A into the set B, because every element of the set A is assigned uniquely to an element of the set B, as you can rightly see here. All right, let's look at the second situation. Every element one, not all elements of the set C, is assigned to an element of the set D. That's the one thing we observe. Second, we see that the element A is assigned to X and it is also assigned to Z, losing uniqueness in the assignment, which contradicts the definition we have for a function. And therefore, what we have in figure 2 is not a function from the set C into the set D. But what we have in figure A, and in figure 1 right now, is a function from the set A into the set B. Observe, as some students always uh, misunderstand, that here, minus 1 is assigned to minus 5, 2 is also assigned to minus 5. We have not lost uniqueness in this case, because who is the image of, or who is minus 1 assigned to? He is assigned to minus 5. Nothing more than that. Again, 2 is assigned also to minus 5. Nothing more than that. Therefore, the assignment we have in figure 1 obeys uniqueness. In figure 2, we lost uniqueness. Therefore, figure 1 describes a function. Figure 2 is not a, a function. All we have in figure 2 is what uh, we call a relation. I have not defined relations for us. I will get that done very shortly. But for the purpose of um, understanding the definition of function we gave, these two figures are very important. In fact, uh, for me, it brings the beauty of that definition very clearly. So, putting this at the back of our mind, putting this at the back of our mind, will always remind us what a function from the set A into set B is, or set C to D as the case may be.